doing everyone? It's Darren, Squeak and Bubbles Carpet Cleaners in Leeds. So we're actually in Leeds City Centre today. So that's looking out at the Leeds Town Hall and the big wheel there. Um, so we at at a property, commercial job. Um, this is for a repeat customer. Had the customer past seven years now. So some staining there on the carpet as you can see. We've got our Faithful Viper machine. That we will be using 17 inch rotary with a zebra pad um so we're going to allow it here to do a couple of coffee stains as you can see some stains there um it's not drastic on this particular job we're going to be using revive it radical rinse very very good very economical you can get it from restimate up in newcastle we've been using it on quite a few jobs, commercial jobs, great on domestic as well too. So we've got all this carpet out here. If I can get my little helper to my cameraman just to hold this. That's all right, just leave it, it'll close. Okay, so we've got over here to do. If you just follow me along so we've got as you can tell we've done this well we've run this job quite a few times okay like i said past seven years we've been doing it brilliant job easy to do um carpet tiles they're kept relatively clean well vacuumed well kept so we've got out here to do all this area So there's not many stains really compared to some jobs to do if, if the cameraman just goes down there you'll see a few a few stains over there while i just pop out here and show you this area out here let's have a look here so here's ruth the cameraman so out here to do as well, this is the reception area, lovely table, nice table there, I'll show you a bit of outside as well, let's have a look. So if you're not from Leeds, that's what Leeds City Centre looks like. It's not looking very busy today. Sun's out. Um, so yes, got this area here to clean. A couple of boardrooms, meeting rooms. They don't look too bad this time round. Usually, There's some stains around here. We'll change the chairs on this one. Uh, so there's a couple of little stains there. We'll just give this a quick blast in here. It's relatively clean. They haven't been used that much. The director said. And then this one in here, another meeting room. I'll switch the lights on, then we know where we are. So not too bad. Another view of Leeds City Centre. It's a right building that. Very nice. So it's nice to work in city centres. The downside is the parking. That's the only problem. So if I give the cameraman the camera back, and we'll take a walk down here. Like I said, we've got all this area to do. So this job usually takes us a couple of hours max. Start to finish, that's just taking his time, having a coffee, there's no rush. So that's it. So the next video, you'll see me um, cleaning the carpets. Like I said, we always use low moisture on these. We don't use anything else. Um, some companies might use hot water extraction machines, we don't. We prefer to use a low moisture method, especially when they're so clean like this, um, because they're, they're even clean even longer. And these carpets have been down 18 years, so they've used me quite a lot. Like I said, past, I think it's this is the seventh or eighth time we've been here. Um, oh no, sorry, about the seventh or eighth year we've been with them, but the users are like at least three times a year. And I think that's why the carpets are in such good condition, because of the way that we clean them. So, yeah, good news. Right then, 
we'll get cracking on with it and speak to you later. Me in as well. So as you can tell here, I'm using radical ring still, which we'll be using in all the job. Takes those stains straight out, as you can tell. Very good product, radical rinse. Like I said, if you want to get it, if you go to Restomate, speak to John Kelly up in Newcastle. Um, I also do have quite a few vlogs on the YouTube channel there with me using these products on various jobs. But I do use other end caps to lay some products as well. Um, I use Dynamo and I also use Hydro 202, that's from Solutions. Well of clean down in uh, Newcastle. Oh, sorry, down in Cornwall. There. Once again, brilliant products. And to be fair, there's not many products on the market. It, it's what suits you. If you're happy with the product, it's better the devil you know. Um, but I have been using Hydro 202 and Dynamo for many, many years now. Like I said, I've been in business since 2008, cleaning both domestic and commercial carpets. Now, I know some of you out there will be saying, well, how come you use, how come you use encapsulation products? Why aren't you extracting? Well, once again, it's personal choice. These carpets aren't that bad. They will easily get away with encapsulation. It's a lot easier, safer. And also the drying time is phenomenal as well. But I know it's, uh, there's no one in this weekend, so it'll make a difference. But these carpets will be dry very, very quickly. And if our cameraman just goes over where they've cleaned, we'll be able to see how much we've cleaned there. They look, they look so much better. All that's taken in, all that's staying. So, I don't know about you guys, have you, been, have you had a busy year? Put a few comments down. Have we, it's been busy. But not as busy as it has been the previous year. We've done, I think we've done a little bit more commercial work this year, bizarrely. We've done a lot of communal blocks. There's a lot of stuff I don't put on YouTube and Instagram. On Instagram. Um, because of, you know what it's like when you're so busy, you just want to get the job done, especially when you work into a time, tight schedule or schedule, whatever you come from. So I've still got a, there's a stain there, if my cameraman will zoom into it. Let's have a look here, it might take a few passes to get this out actually. So let's just see how well it does. stains come out which is really good and the beauty of encapsulation as well with bonneting what I'm doing now is the fact that it doesn't allow weak back or you have less chance for weak back so that's the beauty of encapsulation that's why I like it where hot water extraction which we do have the professional machines as well um, you've got more chance of weak back especially when it comes to coffee stains and some other staining as well but this is just so good well, all the products that I use, what I've recommended already, Revive It, Dynamol and Hydro 202, they're all excellent products. Like I said, all that stain's come out. Just, just, just do this side here. So we're well trusted here, the directors just leave us with the keys and that's it, we'll lock up and off we go. 
some of the contracts we've had in the past. Um, we've done stuff for AXA Insurance, their head offices in Leeds, and also one in Bolton there. We do quite a bit of work for the NHS in Leeds. We do a lot of, of their uh, big offices, do some medical centres. We also do a lot of communal blocks, either direct to the property management company or direct to the uh, landlord who owns the communal buildings or the buildings. So yes, we've done most of this office now. Um, just got these off shoots to do. We'll go, we'll go down here where the director sits. We'll give this a good, uh, good clean. He brings his dog, so his dog likes to sit here as well. In fact, last time we came, there was a really bad stain down there because the dog had been sick. So we managed to get it out for him once again. That was just using encapsulation and the stain didn't come back. It's a bit of a tight squeeze sometimes, isn't it? But we do these carpets quite a lot, three times a year at least. Seven years or so. So they're always kept nice and clean. But it's nice for the staff as well, isn't it? You know, when to have nice clean carpets. Staff come in and it's nice and clean. Gives them a bit more motivation to keep the place clean as well. When office is dirty. And also the clients as well. This is an architect's and Leeds City Centre, by the way, where we are. But uh, when we think about it, you don't want clientele coming in and the carpets are disgusting, tea and coffee all over. It doesn't uh, leave a good impression with the... Um, I'll just go down there. With those who come in to have a look. So we've done all the middle section all the way down there, so we're just doing these offshoots now. You have to be careful because of the plug sockets in the in the floor. I actually got a job because the cleaning company said, oh yeah, we clean carpets, we clean carpets. Went out, cleaned the carpets for some offices and the cleaner didn't know what they were doing. Went over the plug sockets with the machine, soaked it all, everything blew inside the building. Fused, lost everything. Uh, then they called us in and we've had the job since. That's for a company in Leeds up at Thor Park. We've been cleaning their carpets. It's a big, huge boiler company. I won't tell you the name. But uh, we've been doing that for... Ooh, comes, that must be eight years now. Eight, nine years. You have to be careful when you go in near PCs as well, especially if they're on the floor because you don't want to put water on them cause damage. If that's really using the low moisture method, that's the bonus, isn't it? You're not going to be soaking a lot of places. Just literally, just dampening top of the carpet. That's it. It's all nice and clean. So all that's been done there. So what I'm going to do now, like I said, all this middle section, all the way down to the bottom has already been done. So... I'll just go in and do these, this section here. I remember pricing one job up. It was for Hermes. And it was a, in all honesty, it was a massive job. A huge job. Not that we can't do them, because we do. But she pre-warned me that uh, on one of the floors there'd been loads uh, of ch this, uh, chewing gum on the floor. Can you remove it? I said, oh yeah, no problem. And I walked onto this floor, and I'm not joking, and then I fell on the floor. Now, each floor was at least 18,000 square feet 
that's how big each floor was. This particular floor had chewing gum all over the floor. I was that annoyed in front of the staff, I said to the property manager, the floor manager, I said, your staff have literally just been spitting this chewing gum, chewing gum out on the floor. I said, there's no need. I said, there's a bit of chewing gum here or there? Yes. But there were chewing gum all over. I'm talking thousands and thousands of pieces of chewing gum. And I knew it was going to take a long time to remove all that. It's not a five minute job or even a two minute job to move so much chewing gum on the floor. Anyway, I put a price in. I didn't get it. I wasn't that bothered due to the mass of chewing gum. But the point is this. If your staff don't treat the players properly, and you've got a big company like Hermes, of course you're going to get clientele walking in, and it's chewing them all over. Would you be impressed? And not only that, it's health as well, it's, isn't it? You know, you want your staff to, to have a very healthy lifestyle as much as possible. Working environment, nice and healthy. That's what it's all about. I always say to people, whether it's commercial or domestic, would you not wash your clothes for 12 months? You would, wouldn't you? The same principle with carpets, whether it's domestic or commercial, you want to keep them nice and clean at all times. You wouldn't want to be, um, you know, the bacteria that's on the floor, the smell it creates. So I think I mentioned earlier, I'm using a 17 inch rotary with zebra pads. And the nice zebra pads, because they really do clean the, give the carpet a really good thorough clean. These carpets have actually been down um, for about 13 years. You wouldn't have thought so. But when you think seven of those years, we've looked after them, we've cleaned them for them. So that's helped tremendously.